Space Cat. Before you were born, before your parents, your grandparents, before you even had a family line, there was the illusion, the trick, the lie, that you lived on a small spinning rock, flying through space. You thought it was true, because children don't believe in lies, and you grew up. And it was still true, because science is never wrong. You know that fire burns, water is wet, drop something and it falls to the floor. We can all test these things. What shape is the world? That's not something you know, it's something you're told. To put it simply, you just have to take their word for it. What if, after centuries of preaching the globe as a religious icon, the powers that be found out that it was actually not a sphere, but instead something much different? Would they risk unraveling 500 years of science doctrine by informing the public? Could a government still retain its authority if there were actually proof of a higher power? It's about proving the flat earth, but more importantly, it's about disproving the globe. And that shouldn't be possible, but there are several big questions which science has a difficult time with. Why was there only one blue marble image used for 43 years? Where are the videos of the Earth rotating from space? Astronauts can't turn around in space with a camera running? Not even by accident? This is the Flat Earth Theory. That the world is easy to understand, more intimate, and very deliberate. It didn't just happen, it was built. And more importantly, built for you. Open your eyes and smile. You have never been alone. NASA says we go into space, which was basically a hoax. I have some unorthodox thoughts. Flat. Flat. 500 years ago, everybody knew the Earth was flat. 